Hey guys, so today we got a brand new article for Dragon Ball Spark and Zero that kind of like goes more in depth in terms of the characters, the types, and more. And of course, we will also have a showcase tomorrow regarding the custom battle and a bunch of other stuff. So for this video, I'll be putting in timestamps because, well, I just want to get through this video. And for any gifts and all that stuff or vids, I'll show them at a portion of this video. So let's start. In this article, we will go into details about character fighting styles and unique appearances you can find in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. On top of that, we will also have a look at special maneuvers that involve the game's roster, such as quick time events, switches, transformations, and fusions. Okay. So the types of characters. You can enjoy different playstyles in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero depending on the strength and fighting habits of the characters in the original series. Their style is affected by statistics, size, and character forms. Let's have a look at different categories of characters you can play in the game. And of course, this was uh, Vegito versus Gogeta. Now, strength. The strength. The characters base most of their gameplay around their heavy strike and powerful blast. Although they might be slower, their raw power will compensate, compensate as they will deal high damage to their opponents. Some of the characters are so strength oriented that some may not even stagger from key blasts and smash attacks. Based on their statistics, these characters can have two types of specialization, melee and blast. Okay. Um. The first one will enhance the damage dealt with rush combos and close combat, while the second implies that the character can rely on blast attack and key blast to inflict damage. This is an image of Jiren. Now let's go into speed, I guess speed type characters. On the opposite end, some characters base their attack strategy on their swiftness, which they use for long lasting assaults which are hard to interrupt. Even if some of their strikes are lighter, your opponent will have trouble trying to catch you as you move quickly all over the map and deliver combos with stunning speed. Escaping from rush combos of characters that rely on speed will be tougher for the opponent compared to characters not fitting in this category. This is what Kakunsa, I believe. So she's like an example of this type of um, playstyle. Key Blast. There are some characters who are a master of Key Blast, excelling in a fighting style that they can maintain control while keeping the opponent at a distance. They have the ability to fire multiple consecutive energy blasts while consuming the minimal energy. Vegeta is a good example who is known for his powerful and rapid Key Blast attacks. Other characters include Goku who can unleash the iconic Kamehameha and Frieza who possess the precise Death Beam. All right, so those characters are pretty much that type of a uh, style. And then Giants. So obviously this is like um, our Resurrection of F Frieza versus type Goku versus uh, this character. But here it says, given their impressive size, these characters are much slower than others, but they strike more powerful blows that will stagger and send your opponent flying away. On top of that, they are numb to throw and some blast attacks. You can take advantage of their overwhelming presence on the map to hit your opponent with a wider range, wider hit range. Their impressive size and power come at the expense of sometimes having trouble hitting smaller opponents, which may evade their assault more easily. Personally, I don't really see them being that fun to play as in the long run, but maybe Analyzer or however you pronounce it could be fun. Probably just depend. Let's see. Androids. Androids are artificial humans that do not necessarily possess key. In fact, they do, they cannot charge their key bar unless their energy reaches the maximum level. Their key guards will automatically will charge automatically over time or do melee attacks and will stop charging once it reaches its maximum. <sighs> to incorporate this into your strategy, continuously strike with rush combos, giving your opponent no chance to charge his key. Some androids even have the ability to absorb key blasts and certain blast attacks during super perception which will charge their gauge much faster. The characters that automatically charge to the maximum are Android 13, 16, 17, and 18. On the other hand, 19 and Jiro can charge more key by landing melee attacks. And furthermore, they can also absorb the opponent's key blast attacks and some type of key wave blast. Unique looks. So I guess this is what costumes try characters with unique looks and distinctions in Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. Well, I guess maybe not. The game faithfully reproduces some features of the series, whether it's accessory, ability or cosmetics that may or may not affect the character's gameplay. 
So characters with the sword, you can enjoy multiple ways and fighting styles in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero as sword fighting is one of them. <sighs> Iconic swordsmen from the series will use their sword in a lot of sword in a lot of combos, rush and blast to faithfully recreate their famous moves. There are also characters who use a sword to launch energy blasts that pierce through guard with a smash energy blast. Some characters, such as the strongest form in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, have their aura being always on. Their power is overflowing, which results in stunning visual expression of their key. Okay, huh. all right, cool, I guess. Scouter. The Scouter is an iconic item from the Dragon Ball series. In the game, you can select characters mostly from the Freezer Force and equip them from the scouter as an accessory, which will grant a boost of search radius when equipped depending on the quality of the scouter equipped. With this precious accessory, the players will be able to avoid losing track of the opponent for too long. Note that the damage taken during the battle could result in the destruction of the scouter. When the scouter is being destroyed, it becomes difficult to locate the opponent if they are lost from sight. Okay, pretty cool details, I guess. <sighs> All right, uh, what else? How much more do I have to read through? All right, ground characters. Like in Dragon Ball series, like in the Dragon Ball series, some characters cannot fly. Once they jump, they will slowly fall back to the ground as they cannot remain in the air for a long time compared to flying characters. On the other hand, they are the only ones that are able to run on the ground to so take advantage of their skills and try to get the fight to take place on the ground. <laughs> Good luck with that, bro. Good luck with that. <sighs> Special maneuvers. Man, this is a lot. In Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, you can perform special maneuvers that do not fall under the cat combo category or the blast attacks category. These gameplay features are numerous and range from transformation to QTEs. Let's take a look, look at them. Um, transformation, select the desired transformation and press up to display the transformation panel, and then select it with square slash X or those um, buttons to perform it during the fight while using skill counts. Once transformed, the statistics of the character will improve naturally. Fusion can only be used when two characters who can fuse in your team. Fuse into, into the character shown on the fusion panel by pressing those buttons to switch the transformation panel to the fusion panel. Then select with square slash X or those other buttons. Once fused, both characters will appear from your team member screen and be replaced by a single fused character. Note that they cannot go back to normal. Okay. So they can't defuse is what I assume. Uh, switch. Um, the switch is possible once the changing icon is highlighted. Press that to display the switch panel, then choose the character you want to switch with those buttons. This mechanic can lead to the other gameplay features such as chase charge. In team battles, switch while attacking to let your opponent to let your switched in character continue the assault. Use this tactic tactic to smoothly switch out team members while keeping up your attacks. Sparking mode. To enter sparking mode, you must charge your key guard to its maximum and even further. You will need to spend one skill count to reach sparking mode. Sparking mode not only enhances your abilities, but also offers a variety of other benefits, such as allowing you to shoot key blasts without consuming key. Use moves such as violent rush while in sparking mode. You can uh, perform continuous rush attacks until your guard runs out, resulting in an uninterrupted barrage of melee attacks. You can also perform Hyper Smash, which will inevitably break the guards of your opponent or super movement as it consumes some of your sparking guards and allows you to vanish and move instantly. Emote. Oh my god, there is this is a lot, man. More than I even expected. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, emote. You can perform the emote displayed on the emote panel by pressing that and assign to a character prior to the fight. Perform the emote with your favorite characters to take cool stances. Quick time event. Once certain moves are performed at the same time by both players, a dynamic QTE sequence will start in which the winner will take advantage. You know what? Let's just read through this because I'm just reading way too much. Speed impact. A speed impact sees the two fighters clash and trade a series of blows. Perform a speed impact by clashing with your opponent using a dragon dash and a type blast collides with a dragon dash, whatever. This impact action is divided into two main parts. First, during the single strike, both sides must match their inputs with what is being shown on screen. 
Once the attack, once the winner of the single attack is decided, the action proceeds to rapid attacks. During rapid strike, the final damage inflicted is decided by the number of inputs performed by each player. Once the rapid strike stage ends, the winner of the single strike will send the loser flying, concluding the encounter. Okay, so that's speed impact. Power impact. A power impact happens once two characters perform a throw at the same time. The impact action is centered around comparing strength by holding corresponding buttons. Okay, so I didn't know that. All right. During the clash, a guard will be displayed. You must adjust your inputs in order to not exceed the needle. The winner is determined by whose guard is closest to the needle when the power impact ends. <sighs> crash impact. Crash impact is triggered when both characters use a step X slash triangle. At the same time, once the crash impact begins, the two sides will be randomly assigned the roles of attacker and defender. The inputs shown for the attacker and defender are different, so the players must follow the directions on screen. If the attacker wins the exchange, the defender will take damage. If the defender wins, they will protect themselves. A maximum of three exchanges will take place. The first player to win two exchanges will knock back the other player. Blast impact. Okay, this is the final one, finally. This is what the um, what is it? Um, beam struggles, beam clashes. Blast impact is an action that occurs upon the collision of two ranged blast attacks. When a blast attack impact begins, a meter will be displayed on screen, and a gauge on the right side will begin increasing. Pressing will convert the en the gauge into energy for your blast, affecting whose blast comes out on top. In addition to a single button press, you can increase your power through randomly tapping the buttons as well. The winner will deal tremendous damage to the opponent. To his opponent. Now, what I'm going to do is show off a compilation of all the gifts that they showed. All right, now as we're closing off this video, so apparently we have a look at the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero box. And um, there is an interesting thing and it's been causing a little bit of controversy on X and with some other videos, I suppose, if other creators already made videos about this. But obviously, um, like remember a few months ago, it was revealed that there would be a figurine of um, complete Ultra Instant Goku versus Broly. And well, obviously this uh, shows it off. It was from one of the uh, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero editions and credit to Marty Japan. However, we have a close look at Ultra Instant Goku's face. So this part kind of just shows him like that. Um, at first it doesn't look, it looks okay. But then when you see this, it's been causing a bit of controversy. A lot of with people saying that they don't think it looks good. Some people feeling that, you know, that's just standard. My opinion is I generally don't care for these types of figures, but I probably would like if I were going to get a big addition, I probably would like something that looks much better. But Maybe I'm just being too judgmental. What do you guys think in the comment section below? And then finally, we actually have a new Dragon Ball Sparking Zero showcase. No, it's not by any YouTubers or anything of that sort. It's by the official company. 
for tomorrow at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it will be basically showing off the custom battle. So like with one custom story battle, it will be with Goku and Bardock, um, you know, them interacting and fighting with each other. And then like here it says, I've seen this guy somewhere before. I've seen this guy somewhere, somewhere before. And then in the next one, they'll have like a custom battle with Broly versus Mr. Satan. A dream battle between Broly and Mr. Satan. <laughs> sure. Can Mr. Satan win without fixing the match? It's up to you. I want chocolate. Um, this person's favorite characters have come to challenge him to a fight. We've gathered our favorite characters and created a mission. Various food related lines will appear along the way, so be sure to give it a try. Master Rossi, Dr. Jiro, and Evil Boo versus Guldo, the Doria, and Fat Boo. Huh. Interesting combination. And then the other, the, other, the other custom battle that they'll be going through is Universe 7's Trump Card. When you think of Dragon Ball Sparkle you think of playing the game with Goku. In Dragon Ball Sparkle Z, you can create a situation where you can fight on the enemies, Jiren's side. I hope you'll experience how Jiren will resist the power of Son Goku and friends who never give up until the end. Use Jiren's ultimate overwhelming power to fend off Frieza, Goku at 17 within the time limit. And yeah, that's pretty much all I'm covering. Um, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.